once they say yes, fine. I say, I'm going to email you a, a agreement. That's it. Put your one, email and close the case. Bam. Yeah. Once they say yes, kiss the girl, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Stop talking and just go for it. Right? Yeah. I seen you in that video with what's the name? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Claw's line. And yeah. and it's great. I mean, and it's and it's. Uh, I don't know. It probably doesn't really apply too well to girls, but I I sure can relate to it. You know, uh, where you know oh. where, where you feel like the magic's there, but all of a sudden it's like I I keep wanting to talk and you know play with her hair. Or, Get in there, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if he says, shut up. I really believe in calling people, man. Really? Yeah, I really believe that's how the magic is done, man. I really do. And this one says, yes, uh, I owe three times management. This guy's a management company. They, okay. they, owe, uh, they owe, 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 owe more properties. Okay. Okay. Area. Cool. And this guy says, yes, you know, well, that's good. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. That's I'm, good. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hesitating. I'm like, not hesitating. Uh, this gave me a little more motivation. I know I can do it. It's easy. It's yeah. Just that, that first push. That's it, man. You got leads. Anybody that anybody that seems worthy of calling with a yes or a maybe or some response like that I, I always have i have them called or i call them yes yeah i you know because that's that's really the magic um when I, I used to try to get them to go to my website and fill out another form or you know or send them an email and see if they respond or you know send them even a contract see if they'll fill it out and but you know all that's just kind of me making excuses for not really calling them and doing the deal right then and there because <laughs> yeah. i know they're not going to do the deal without talking to somebody you know 99.5 percent of the time so you never had none of, none of all the things that you did you tried it already it never worked i got you nah man i mean i've had them go to the website but you eventually have to talk to them anyway i mean it's <laughs> it's, there's no way to avoid it you know how long, how long do you stay when they give you a yes answer to call them you, i'm sorry say that, say that how again long, how long do you take once you send the rma and then they give you a response yes yeah do you right away give them a call right away or you wait a couple of days you no know? not always um as soon as they give me a response on the automated rei that's like a yes or a maybe i just you know i'll i'll call them either right away or I'll call them tomorrow or I'll call them the next day or I'll call them next week. So <laughs> I really, it doesn't bother me to no wait. Problem. Those, yeah, those leads aren't, they don't have an expiration date really. Yeah. Okay. Not printed on the label. Yeah. Because if he's going to say yes now. Yeah. In the following week, he says no. When you yeah. get a call, it's a waste of time. So. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and these guys have been trying to do something with these properties for some time now, most yeah, of them. Some of them already tried, because I'm a real estate agent. I okay. go back and check if it was yeah. listed before. Yeah. So, and, yeah. So they've they been doing it for a while, some of them, right? Yeah, they tried to list them. Yeah. And, so and, once I call them, what do I tell them? What are, what are the things that I, I just give them a call? Hey, hi, how you doing? Okay. Okay. Do you have the seller call notes? The seller call notes. Let me share it with you. I'll show it to you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got the outbound. It's right on the top. Yeah. You see this one? Yeah, this is it right here. Okay, you got it then. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No problem. All right, great. That's what you say. <laughs> Basically. That's the that's that's the mechanics of the sure. phone call. So there's the there's the the agenda, and then there's the qualification, and then there's the the closing. And you're just going to make it as conversational as you can, but you're going to be you're going to be the boss in charge because you're an investor looking for an investment property, and you're not really wasting time trying to be a telemarketer or some kind of crap like that. So when you set the agenda, you say, "Hi, my name's Ed. 
I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking for my next property deal. I saw this one. I uh, wanted to give you a call, ask you a few questions. You could ask me a few questions too, if you like. And uh, if it's not a good fit for you, you don't have to tell me you're going to think about it or get back to me. It's okay if you just tell me no. Does that seem fair? Yeah, I can tell you from my experience that even though they say yes to the text message, they are far from being closed. Um, they, they really, really have to talk to you about it. You have to reintroduce the topic verbally. You have to explain things to them in a way that they makes them want to do it, to make them want to understand, you know, and, and want to do it. And then, and then you have to get the paperwork signed. So it's, you know, I, I've never figured a way to be able to go from text to, to contract without having a, an A to Z conversation in between. It just has to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to get them. I don't know how to get somebody there because they lack the knowledge to be able to make a decision. And plus, I they, say, I don't want to say the wrong thing. But yeah, no, I can tell you, man. I mean, this, this, huh? this conversation works for me. It works, works for anybody that's using it. The guys that, that are using this are making a lot of money. Um, so, you know, Setting the agenda is real, real important. Just letting them know again who you are. It's basically a, a kind of like the text that you already sent out. Hi, my name's Ed. I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking for next property deal. Here's where it shifts. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions about this one. You might even say, hey, my name's Ed. I sent you a text message a few days ago. You, you know, you sent me a message back. I wanted to call you, ask you a few questions. You could ask me a few questions. And if it's not a good fit, just let me know if it's not going to be a good fit for you. You don't have to tell me you're going to think about it or, you know, go to church and pray about it or, or, or what, just say no to me. It's okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Now that's great because it makes them comfortable, man. And it also lets them know your objective, where you're headed in the conversation. So once they, they agree, ask, go ahead. Once they ask me how, uh, what, how are you going to lease it out or, out. Yeah. Uh, if they ask you how, you know, how do you lease it out? How does this work? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Do they get into details? No, I don't get into vast details. Here's no. my response. Uh, Ed, great question. And what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking for my next property deal. But what I want to do is I want to put some good people in there and I want to make a little bit of money, but I also want to solve your problem. Does that seem reasonable or, or probably not? That's it. That's my explanation. I mean, I don't need to go into details of how I work with people with bad credit and shit like this. And oh, you know, I've, I've got a program for them that, you know, wipes their ass when they can get up in the morning and I've got, you know, it, it notifies everybody and, Oh, it's going to be a blessing to your life. And, and after all, I mean, think about it, you know, these people, they really need a second chance and they, haven't you ever needed a second chance? And you know, Hey, fooey on all that, forget that shit. I mean, they don't, they don't care. They don't even need to know. Yeah, I'm a real estate investor. I want to put some good people in there. I'm going to make some money, but I also want this to be a good solution for you. Does that sound reasonable or, or something like something that's uncomfortable? Which? I mean, it's just a for, straightforward question. You know, I just want to know, <laughs> but I'm not hiding anything either. So, you know, the, the real, the real problem that everybody has when making phone calls is slipping over into explainer mode. And that's kind of what you're talking about, Ed, is, you know, should I go into explainer mode? No, don't go into explainer mode. You, you lose, you lose the deal in explainer mode because they, they're, they're, they're not able to even really conceive of what you're talking about, even though you think they are, and you're just creating more questions in their minds. You know, you're creating more, more doubts and fears and more reasons to not trust you. And, you know, just keep it simple, man. I'm a real estate investor. I'm going to put some good people in there and I'm going to make a little bit of money true, but I also want this to be a great solution for you. Does that sound unreasonable? Once they say yes, fine. I say, I'm going to email you a, a agreement. That's it. Put your One, email and close the case. Bam. Yeah. Once they say yes, kiss the girl, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Shut up. Stop talking and just go for it. Right. Yeah. I seen you in that video with what's name. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Claw's line. And yeah. and it's great. I mean, and it's and it's uh, I don't know, it probably doesn't really apply too well to girls, but I I sure can relate to it. You know? Uh where you know, oh. where, where you feel like the magic's there, but all of a sudden it's like I I keep wanting to talk and, you know, play with her hair or get in there, man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> He says no who cares I mean, no, no, exactly no. they just said yes in a hundred different ways probably you know we, we talk ourselves out of this stuff we psych ourselves out of it you know it's it's really it's <laughs> it's I, not I, it's it's complicated but not that complicated yeah. you know I, so it's all the same it's a lease agreement and an option to purchase agreement that's it so you can you can you know you can actually use less paperwork doing a sandwich lease than you will doing a, a wholesale lease Basically, option. This is a sandwich lease. This is a wholesale lease. Yeah, the packet is for a wholesale. So you'd have to drop a form or two out of it in order to do a sandwich. So it's actually easier to do a sandwich. Less paperwork. Less paperwork, man. Yeah, but but in the long run, more paperwork because you have to manage that, the billing every month of collecting your rent and paying the mortgage. You know, you did two different videos. Shut up, money. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video. Just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.